Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, let us solve some important MCQs from learner and learning process, growth and development, cognitive processes, personality theories, and mental health. Watch the entire video. The answers to the MCQs are at the end of the video. Let us try to solve MCQs one by one. Question 1. What is the primary focus of the concept of growth and development in psychology? A. Cognitive processes B. Physical and psychological changes over time C. Personality traits D. Mental health disorders Question 2. According to Piaget, what is the term for the process of adapting existing cognitive structures to incorporate new information? A. Assimilation B. Accommodation C. Integration D. Modification Question 3. Which stage of cognitive development, according to Piaget, occurs during infancy and is characterized by sensorimotor exploration? A. Preoperational B. Concrete operational C. Formal operational D. Sensorimotor Question 4. Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory of development includes how many stages across the lifespan? A. 5 B. 8 C. 10 D. 12 Question 5. According to Erickson, which stage is associated with the conflict of trust versus mistrust? A. Identity versus role confusion B. Autonomy versus shame and doubt C. Trust versus mistrust. D. Intimacy versus isolation. Question 6. In cognitive development, the term object permanence refers to A. The ability to understand conservation. B. The realization that objects exist even when out of sight. C. Logical reasoning skills. D. The ability to solve abstract problems. Question 7. Freud's theory of personality consists of three main components. What are these components? A. Ego, superego, and unconscious. B. ID, ego, and superego. C. Conscious, unconscious, and preconscious. D. Ego, personality, and libido. Question 8. According to Freud, which personality component operates on the pleasure principle and seeks immediate gratification? A. Ego B. Superego C. ID D. Libido Question 9. Carl Rogers is associated with which humanistic theory of personality? A. Behaviorism B. Social Cognitive Theory C. Psychoanalytic Theory D. Person-Centered Theory Question 10. According to Carl Rogers, what is the key element in the development of personality? A. Unconscious Desires B. Self-actualization C. Defense Mechanisms D. Introversion Question 11. Gordon Allport's trait theory emphasizes A. The role of unconscious desires B. The uniqueness of individual traits. C. The influence of early childhood experiences. D. The impact of social interactions. Question 12. Max Verdima and Kurt Kafka were key figures in the development of which psychological school of thought? A. Psychoanalysis. B. Behaviorism. C. Gestalt psychology. D. Humanism. Question 13. Gestalt psychology emphasizes A. The importance of unconscious desires B. The analysis of behavior into individual components C. The study of perceptual holes D. The influence of social structures on personality Question 14. Mental hygiene refers to A. The cleanliness of physical environments B. Promoting mental health and preventing mental disorders. C. Maintaining a clean conscience. D. The study of mental processes. Question 15. Which of the following is a principle associated with the concept of mental hygiene? 
A. Ignoring the importance of emotional well-being. B. Focusing solely on treating mental disorders. C. Promoting preventive measures for mental well-being. D. Excluding social factors from mental health considerations. Question 16. The concept of ego strength is closely associated with A. Fraud psychoanalytic theory. B. Carl Rogers person-centered theory. C. Gordon Allport Strait Theory D. Mental Hygiene Principles Question 17. Kurt Kofka, as a Gestalt psychologist, emphasized the importance of A. Unconscious desires B. Analyzing behavior into individual components C. The holistic perception of stimuli D. The uniqueness of individual traits Question 18. Which stage of Erickson's psychosocial theory is associated with the conflict of initiative versus guilt? A. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. B. Initiative versus guilt. C. Identity versus role confusion. D. Generativity versus stagnation. Question 19. According to Freud, the superego operates based on A. The reality principle. B. The pleasure principle. C. Moral and ethical considerations. D. Immediate gratification. Question 20. What is the main focus of mental health as a concept? A. Treating mental disorders exclusively. B. Promoting overall well-being and preventing mental illnesses. C. Ignoring the role of genetics in mental health. D. Eliminating stress from daily life. Question 21. According to Piaget, during the preoperational stage of cognitive development, children primarily exhibit a. abstract reasoning, b. conservation skills, c. egocentrism, d. logical operations. Question 22. Which stage of Erickson's psychosocial theory is associated with the conflict of industry versus inferiority? a. initiative versus guilt. B. Industry versus inferiority. C. Identity versus role confusion. D. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. Question 23. Carl Rogers' person centered theory emphasizes the importance of A. Unconscious desires. B. Conditions of worth and unconditional positive regard. C. Fixed personality traits. D. Social conformity. Question 24. Gordon Allport identified three types of traits. Which of the following is not one of them? A. Cardinal traits. B. Central traits. C. Secondary traits. D. Dominant traits. Question 25. Max Werdemer, Kurt Kofka, and Wolfgang Kohler were pioneers in the development of A. Psychoanalytic theory. B. Behaviorism. C. Gestalt psychology. D. Humanism. Question 26. Mental hygiene principles focus on A. Exclusively treating mental disorders. B. Promoting preventive measures and mental well being. C. Ignoring psychological aspects of health. D. Eliminating all sources of stress. Correct answer of MCQs are. Question 1. Answer. B. Physical and psychological changes over time. Question 2. Answer. A. Assimilation. Question 3. Answer. D. Sensorimotor. Question 4. Answer. B. 8. Question 5. Answer. C. Trust versus mistrust. Question 6. Answer. B. The realization that objects exist even when out of sight. Question 7. Answer. B. ID, ego, and superego. Question 8. Answer. C. ID. Question 9. Answer. D. Person centered theory. Question 10. Answer. B. Self actualization. Question 11. Answer. B. The uniqueness of individual traits. Question 12 answer. C. Gestalt psychology.
Question 13 answer. C. The study of perceptual holes. Question 14 answer. B. Promoting mental health and preventing mental disorders. Question 15 answer. C. Promoting preventive measures for mental well-being. Question 16 answer. A. Freud's psychoanalytic theory. Question 17 answer. C. The holistic perception of stimuli. Question 18 answer. B. Initiative versus guilt. Question 19 answer. C. Moral and ethical considerations. Question 20 answer. B. Promoting overall well-being and preventing mental illnesses. Question 21 answer. C. Egocentrism. Question 22 answer. B. Industry versus inferiority. Question 23 answer. B. Conditions of worth and unconditional positive regard. Question 24 answer. D. Dominant traits. Question 25 answer. C. Gestalt psychology. Question 26. Answer. B. Promoting preventive measures and mental well-being. Thank you everyone. If you're passionate about education and teacher training, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.